Is it getting hot in here? I think it's getting hot in here. We're going to get ready to paint regular short piece into red hot lava. Woo. Woo. Hot. Woo. Now we're going to tackle the lava river, the lava river. Um, so our goal is to get the yellow, lava yellow, and lava orange. Whew. Look how bright those are. Lava yellow and lava orange to paint them on our blank piece. Um, arbitrarily, pretty much, you know. Um, we're gonna paint them, you know, sort of red and yellowy, you know. Just, just you know, paint them arbitrarily. Here. But make sure that you got the red on the, uh, the outside area. Okay, red here, red there. Okay. Oh. Don't drop your pieces. All right. Red. Now. So you might need to uh, spend a couple of uh, la layers to fully cover your piece. Um, so I got red, okay, and now I'm going to take the yellow, okay, and put some yellow on there. Now, you could, you know, blend them a little, you know. Go in and blend them. I would get the, uh, there we go, deep lava. The deep lava, okay. And uh, here, you can blend them while they're still wet, you know. So, you can sort of blend them in. It is now. Once again, folks, once if you're painting like 20 or 50 of them at a time, you just go from one piece to the next and sort of production line fashion. Now today I'm only painting one piece, so I'm going to put my piece under the heat lamp to uh, a little, well basically just a light, and uh, put it there so it heats up. Okay, now that our yellow and red lava colors have dried, we are going to use some black. Yes, this is a little freaky. You, you might have to hold on to your butts on this one. All right, we're going to use the big brush. Break out the big brush and dry out your... See the dry brush? See the dry brush technique? Dry it out and then Rub this on the shore. See that? We're going to cover that red and yellow. You'll, you'll get the hang of how much to, to dry it out. And like this. See? You don't want to cover all of the red and yellow. You just want to sort of kind of char it up there and uh, 
Get the barnacle -y area too. Okay. That black. Black. Rub it in. Black. Don't forget the sides. The back. Don't forget the back. Woo! Alright. There you go. Whoa, whoa. No, oh, careful. There you go. See? Got, now I got a little blackness in there. Oh, you see, like I messed up a little bit on the edge. No worries. Still got my other colors here. Let go. Get that in there. Okay. In fact, let's brighten up that shoreline a little. Huh? Okay, yeah. Can you paint it like that? In fact, let's brighten up that shoreline a little with another layer of paint. Okay. Ooh, make that nice and bright. See that? Yeah. Let's uh, intensify. Let's intensify that lava orange. See that? It's okay to go back and sort of touch it up a little. See this? Intensify. I'm just dabbing it in there. See that? Yeah, a little dab it in. Okay, ledges. Yeah. You know, a couple layers of paint helps to intensify it. There we go. Well, some of you will be better at this than others. You know, practice makes perfect. Um, here, this deep area, we could have it a little, a little deeper here, okay. Mm -hmm. Rub it in a little, see, it's what I call blending, see that, blend that in a little, you know, see that, all right. Okay, now for the final stage of that hot, hot lava. Ash. What is ash? Ash is merely white paint. Shh, I don't have to tell anyone. All right. Ash. Uh, <clears throat> I'm going to take, yeah, take the big brush, folks. Make sure it's dry. All right. Take the big brush and really dry out your white, okay? It's hard to see if it's dried out on your paper towels. Sometimes you could just use your hand. See that? Oh, isn't that cool? You can, you can like fingerprint yourself. Look at that. And uh, now we're gonna dust it onto the piece. Just a little bit. There, we're done. Edges. Get those edges. Get those edges. There it is. See how it brings out a little bit of that ash color in there? There it is. Oh! oh. What? See? How the fire newts immediately take to the hot lava piece? That's what happens. What is the final stage? Now that we have the ash and the lava and everything, we gotta gloss it up. Gloss it up. All right. Now, once again, I'm using my generic gloss, but um, this time, 
I'm just gonna gloss the water, lava, the lava area here, the not the barnacle kind of area, just the lava like here. They see how the gloss brings all that color back. Look at that. Woo! Bring it all back. Don't forget the sides. Make sure you do this in a well ventilated room. Yeah. And there it is. The lava. The lava piece. Mm. Oh, 